this is some more human breast tissue. And in deference or in contrast to the last breast tissue that we saw, which was inactive, which means it is not pregnant or lactating, uh, we have a breast tissue here in which the lobules look like they are considerably more in cross-sectional areas than the surrounding fat or connective tissue. So this is what we call an active breast. This could be a uh, perhaps a pregnant woman or an early lactating woman, but usually in lactation, these little uh, asini are much, much bigger. So I suspect this is only a pregnancy. And in the uh, active breast lobules, you can see that the asini are filled with a proteinaceous material. This is called milk. And if you took a drop of milk and stained it with hematoxylin and eosin, the proteins in it might look very much like this. Here's a little bit of very loose connective tissue surrounding these lobules. Here's denser connective tissue and fat between the lobules. Otherwise, most of these asini within the lobule are now actively producing milk. And here we see that virtually all these asini are distended with milk uh, product. We can see a duct inside of one of these lobules, as well as a duct at the periphery of the lobule. Remember, the duct is just strictly transporting the material, whereas all of these asini are actually making the juice. Here is a little blood vessel between the lobule. Here's another one. Here's some fat. Here's some fibroblasts. And uh, you could quickly see that I think we've pretty much nailed down this whole breast. Uh, let's find a large duct, perhaps. Um, probably here are a few larger ones, but let's see if we could find something larger than that. Yeah, I think you could say this is a pretty large size uh, duct, and look how it is filled uh, with milk as well. So here's the lobule. Here are the distended alveoli. The alveoli still have the myoepithelial cells at the periphery of them. Sometimes alveoli are also called asini. Here is loose connective tissue under the influence of estrogen supporting these delicate lobules. And then here is denser connective tissue and some fat and more fat and a lot of fat uh, composing the stroma. And because the stroma here looks like it's probably less than the lobules. You know this is an active breast, and I thank you very much.